Hello and welcome students to another video lecture on the next topic of English language that is the singular and plural noun. I hope you people might have studied what are nouns, what are their kinds and their examples as well. So now here we are going to study about singular and plural nouns. So let us get started and see what are singular and plural nouns. On the basis of number, nouns are divided into two types, that is singular and plural. What is a singular noun? The name of only one person, place, animal or thing is called as a singular noun. Singular relates to single person, place or thing. For example, tree, girl, city. Whenever we say tree, that means we are talking about only one tree. Let us see what are plural nouns. The name of more than one person, place, animal or thing is called as a plural noun. It is done by adding S, E, S, I, E, S or V, E, S suffix to the singular noun. For example, the plural form of tree, girl and city is trees, girl and city, cities respectively. To make the plural form, we have added S and ES to the singular form of tree, trees, girls and cities. This picture may get it more clear. You can see a single boy standing alone in the left side of the picture and a group of boys standing together in the right side of the picture. For the left side, we use boy because we are talking about only one boy. But for the right picture, right side, there are more than one boy. So we use boys that is the plural form of boy there are certain rules to convert the nouns from singular to plural these rules may help us to convert the nouns from singular to plural so let us have the looks look on what are the rules the first rule is by adding s suffix to the singular noun for the plural form of most of the nouns, we add S to the singular noun. For example, the plural of bottle is bottles. The plural of cup is cups. The plural of pencil is pencils. The plural of desk is desks. The plural of sticker is stickers. The plural of window is windows. The second rule is by adding es suffix to the singular noun. For all those nouns that end in x, ch or ch sound or s or s sounds, we add es to make them plural. For example, the plural of box is boxes. The plural of watch is watches. The plural of moss is mosses. The plural of bus is buses. Third rule is by adding ves to the singular noun. For all those nouns that end in f, such as a wolf, and those who end in fe, such as wife, we remove the f or fe and add ves to make it plural. For example, the plural of wolf is wolves. The plural of wife is wives. The plural of leaf is leaves. The plural of life is lives. The fourth rule is by adding ses or ies as a suffix to make the noun plural. For all those nouns that end in Y or O, they do not have a definite rule. They are changed by adding S, E, S or I, E, S accordingly. 
For example, the plural of baby is babies. We add IES in baby. For example, the plural of toy is toys. The plural of kidney is kidneys. The plural of potato is potatoes. The plural of memo is memos. The plural of stereo is stereos. Same singular and plural form. Some of the singular nouns have the same singular noun as the plural form as well. For example, the plural of sheep is sheep itself. The plural of deer is deer itself. The plural of species is species. The plural of series is series. Some nouns do not have any certain rule to convert to their plural forms. You people need to learn the plural nouns of those particular singular nouns. For example, the plural noun of children is children. Uh, the plural noun of child is children. The plural of woman is women. The plural of man is men. The plural of mouse is mice. The plural of goose is geese. Okay, that's all is that's all for singular and plural noun. Here I have an assignment that may be helpful for you all to know more about the singular and plural nouns. Here you have to find out the plural form of the following singular nouns on your own. The singular nouns over here given are boat, house, river, wish, pitch, penny, daisy, spy, foot, half, knife, loaf, tomato, fish. Take an initiative to do the assignment and keep practicing whatever has been taught to you and keep learning. That's all for this lecture. Thank you so much.